Welcome back to my video about C++ So in this video, we are going to look into vector Previously, we were talking about um, uh, array So uh, one of the problem in array is actually uh, on the limitations Because you have to uh, set the fixed number of uh, elements in array And uh, because of that, we have this concept of vector in C++ So that you can add um, you know the element you know, it is not going to going to be um, limited so you know you you don't have to fix um, in the very first place like array but you can keep uh, adding on uh, the size of the array using vector all right so uh, in order for you to use this vector you have to include um, a vector yeah otherwise the the computer will not understand what this uh, vector uh, is all about so in order for you to declare this uh, vector a type of integer you have to use the word vector and then you have to use this sign yeah um, and the data type then you close that and then the variable the variable names yeah so let's say uh, in this case I just want to put the the next you can have this so in this case uh, the data for this x is empty yeah? um, like array uh, uh, if you you have to clear the number of element but in this vector you can uh, uh, declare it like this uh, in this case that uh, you can you know uh, keep adding and then expand um, the size of the array or you can initialize the value like um, you have to use this bracket like an array just now um, you can have like uh, x12 in, in this bracket so this in this case the x should be having um, 12 uh, element of array yeah. this is equivalent to like uh, integer x12 yeah but uh, the difference between this and this because you are using vector it is not uh, fixed to 12 but you can even expand that uh, yeah, um, uh, to uh, more than 12 elements all right so um, to use this vector you can use just like using array like if you want to um, assign the value you can use uh, uh, any kind of loops uh, I just want to give you an example here as uh, we are using for yeah um, integer y is equal to you, you want to start with zero because the element will always start with zero and then um, all right so um, the easiest way is actually to look into because this vector is expandable so you somehow you do not know sometimes uh, the number of element in this uh, vector so the the easiest way to um, uh, to determine the number of element by looking at the the, the size yeah? x dot um, size so this will return actually the size of the vector yeah so that y should be less than that size because we start from zero and uh, y plus plus all right so this is how we are going to assign let's say um x yeah we use it just like how we use array okay? so it is important for you to 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 know array before you uh, watch this uh, vector uh, video okay? So this is supposed to be y let's say i assign with the number with the value of y itself right so let's um display try to display this all right and uh, i just want to reduce this to four so that the Let's run the program. All right, so you will get um, this output, yeah, um, zero, one, two, and three, yeah, because you are actually assigning the value of um, y itself to 
the vector of x so the way you use this vector is just like you use an array right and um, okay the good things the difference between this uh, vector in, in, in array is that uh, okay uh, if you you can assign the value using uh, push back you know, this is the command x dot so you have to uh, use this uh, dot push underscore back and you put the value yeah? you put the value alright so um, in this case if I run this right even though this is 4 right it's supposed to be only 1 2 3 4 4 loops so because if, if I add one more and I ex expand that um, array of x by push the value of 12 then it should be printing 0 1 2 3 and 12 because this size will be increased by 1 so it will display until 5 uh, element let's run the program all right if you look at this it's 0 1 2 3 and 12 because i put the uh, fifth um, element I create that and then we store the value of uh, 12 yeah inside there right and then um, I can even uh, do this again and again yeah um, let's say this is 12 13 14 and 15 so it should be when I run this right okay you look at here 0 1 2 3 and then uh, 12 13 and uh, 14 so if i want to delete the last one right you can use this command x dot pop back yeah so this command is actually to delete the last element pop back is actually to delete the last element yeah so uh, if I run this, you should lose this n uh, number 15. Yeah? Alright, so um, it will delete the last, the last one. It will disconnect, in fact, the last element. Of course, um, just to show you here, if I want to, you know, see it out the um, x for the x dot size if I run this uh, because we are not in include um, um, the last element so if this is like a 4 plus a 5 is 9 so we want to display the ninth and then you probably can get that um, 15 yeah. right you still get that 15 but um, of course that uh, this is actually being uh, um, uh, separated from the array of x yeah and the size of x is actually reduced by one right uh, even though that yeah, in fact uh, you still can uh, retrieve the value in that memory for that position which is 15 but um, somehow this is no longer uh, attached with x yeah okay uh, this is a little bit co confusing but I just want you to to understand that um, uh, you know, if you um, display the size yeah It's supposed to be seven. If you look at here, seven because four plus three, excluding this one, right? So the size. So using pop, you are actually uh, delete the last uh, element of the array. So um, how are you going to, uh, you know, uh, call this as? Uh, a function right but before that um, 
um, one of the um, the benefit of using this uh, vector is that, as I mentioned just now, you don't have really defined uh, the number of element in the first place. Yeah, so you in fact can just uh, declare it like this. In order for you to assign the value, you can use uh, push back just now. Next push back. you can put any value into this right um, Right, let's run the program so you should be printing out number 12 13 and um, 14 yeah so in this case you are actually starting from empty the X is actually is actually empty in the first place but since you use this pushback then you can uh, use this to assign the values 12 13 and 14 and then it will increase the size of this uh, vector or array into three so this should be uh, um, giving three so y less than three so by using this loop it will access every single element of x and then it will display that 12 13 and 14 okay so um, let's have a look at then how we're going to use this vector in function so uh, in function, let's say you want to use these functions to key in the uh, the the values, yeah. So you should be receiving the vector type of integer. Okay, let's say the the variable name is vec and right and you can um, call that keying and then pass the x yeah you call that and then pass x x will be given to vec right now i just remove this first right and then if you want to key in using um say from the keyboard right so you can um, uh, use wow well, you want to key in from the from the keyboard right so while well, the input has a value and then you want to assign that um, dot um, push back that input yeah so um, in this command so you want to assign this uh, vector with the value uh, which is an input which is a type of integer equivalent to the type of the vector itself yeah so while this is true and it will do this then you can just you know, uh, put uh, any uh, input other than integer so that it will go out from the, uh, the loop yeah and you probably can have this what happened if you have this yeah void right so we are going to see what is going on here all right uh, we declare this x as a vector and then we um pass this x to this um a function this functions is actually to key in the uh the vector vec and with the with the value that we're going to key in through keyboard and then uh, we, after we call that function and then it will display the x so we will see whether or not that this x this vector x will display whatever we uh, key in in this vector yeah? so we'll see all right 
let's say I just want to put three numbers yeah one two three and then I put the the dot just to get out from the while loop all right so if you look at here right After I key in, so nothing is happening here, right? So meaning to say that this x has no value. So that uh, x has no value. But if you look at this vector, or maybe we can try to look at uh, whether or not that this vector has a value. Or actually, what we can do is actually to, you know, because you are passing the value here, so if you said that all right i want to receive the address of x and so that this vector will be referring to the same address as vector x so whatever changes to this vector it will change this x as well right so if i run this again then i put this one two three and then put the dot so if you look at here, after I key in one, two, three, and then I put a dot just to go out from this loop, all right, and then it will go back to these instructions. It will display this X and it will display one, two, and three. So meaning to say that uh, when we assign vec with these uh, values, yeah, it will be actually uh, change this x because they are referring to the same address yeah so by doing this we are actually uh, passing the reference uh, to this um, function right so um, the other way to do this is actually if you do want to pass the um, the reference you can have that and then you probably can return the so by doing this maybe it is going to be uh, a bit um, uh, flexible yeah and uh, you should be written what is vector is a vector of integer but you have to return that vector of integer and since you have this return so you have to assign it with something else so in this case you want to put that to x yeah so um this is what happened we give the value of x we call this all right and then uh, this vec will be created and then we give the input and then we return that vec and assign to x so whatever in, in, in vec will be copied to x so when we try to um display so all the element of x then it should be uh, you know, uh, give you the, the value as well so let's run this program let's say I want to one two three four and then do the dot all right if you look at here after the dot it will print out all the four numbers so meaning to say that in this case we are also changing the x by call this and then put whatever value uh, here into this uh, x which is itself yeah and then when you do that uh, you know you want to check whatever inside this x then you can get that value so by doing this you are actually changing or assigning the value whatever changes in the back you are assigning it back to this x all right so this is actually um, um the basic of using vector in c so definitely you can use this in many things and you probably can try to explore other things other than what i have just uh show you here all right guys i think that's it for vector until we see you again in my next video all right see you again bye